Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. This is what life is about. Living it to the fullest, doing what you love, hunt hard and with good friends. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. Yeah, we're back in New Zealand on the Roar in Gore. I like that because the town is Gore, so we're they're so roaring. They're so roaring in Gore. I'm glad you explained it because a lot of people wouldn't figure that one out. No, so this is would. part two because last week I was hunting, and I guess you get a hunt this week. Well, yeah, I mean, you ate up most of our trip. Did you need that long? I guess they'll have to wait and see, won't they? Hmm. Hmm. So again, we have lots to share. Yeah, I mean, I got to tell you, Heading down there to New Zealand, Lethen Valley, with Rach and Ollie, the kids, everybody. I, I mean, this is a place you, you'll you want to return to. It is, so let's return. Yes. Okay. Let's recap what Vicky did, because yeah. Vicky Stag was pretty amazing. After much perseverance, on day four, Vicky encountered an enormous stag, which let out a truly unforgettable up-close roar. Ready for the shot, Vicky fired an arrow, but hit slightly high. After a brief stalk, she got a second arrow in it, and the stag went down right before her eyes. He's a beast. He is, he is a beast. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, good work, team. Thank you. So we're four days into the hunt. Yep. And we got three days left. Right. So we're done. I've got my stag. We got everything done. Got it back to camp. And now you're up. It's my turn. And what happened is we come up over the ridge and we spotted about six or seven hinds. The temperatures are getting warmer today, but uh, they're way down in the valley. So Rach, what she wants to do is we're going to try to get in there and do some call and see if we could bring them up to us. Could be cool. The roar is just picking up. I mean, we actually are, we were in a pre-rut to a rut situation. Absolutely. And, and we're there and it's happening. The roar is on. I remember getting up high and we yeah. worked low, remember that? Yep. And we got in that timber. We made our move, got the wind. Rach, we're always checking the wind. Came down, got, got settled in, and he's roaring. We're getting closer and closer. So we went further, and we did exactly what you would do on an elk hunt. Absolutely. I mean, that's what we're doing. We're elk hunting. We're elk hunting. But we're in New different... Zealand hunting stag. There was that one stag, and I'll never forget that roar he had. He was down lower. So you and Kenneth were over to my left, and Rach is right behind me, and I'm filming also. and. That one down below, so the one that had the hinds that took him, I mean, he was roaring, but that oh. one down below, he, he was growling to the point where it made your whole body shake. It was well, you're in a, a canyon and it's echoing and it's just and like, it's just, mm -hmm. you I feel mean, like you're just, in Jurassic Park. We really did. We felt like there should have been dinosaurs running yeah. around in there. If you didn't know that a red stag made this noise, you would be... You'd go, I need, I need you, a bigger hoy. You would be like, I need to get out of this timber. That's what you would do. So we start getting in closer and closer, and all of a sudden, 
we felt the wind, wind killed us, and I mean, you hear them, and then you hear the hinds barking, oh. you, you know, and I mean, you hear that, it's... It's done. It's over. I'm telling you, if that ain't the closest thing to Jurassic Park, what is? That was awesome. What do you say? We are in Jurassic Park. I mean, you heard him. He's your... He stayed. I believe that the herd stag took all those hinds and left. And then we had one, two, three, four, four, maybe five. But it was awesome. After just having had a close call with several stags, but being busted by the wind, the crew decides to work their way to a new area. So we're down low, we gotta get back up. The easiest way to do it is to walk all the way down low through this drainage, through right. the timber, and then go back to get to where we need to get with everything else. So Rach says, let's get up out to the edge again, let's get out of this drainage, let's get back up to the edge and get going. And as we're going, there's wallows. I mean, there were wallows You could everywhere. smell it. You could I mean, smell it. It was so cool. But we were, our wind busted everything out of there already. So we start walking, and then all of a sudden you're, Whoa. Oh, and there's a bunch of hinds up on the mountain, and they're looking below Down us. Down at us. You, I mean, all you could see was just part of ears and stuff. And then you start seeing, and I mean, busted again. And then the stag showed again. up and busted yeah. us again. And I, I mean, it's what it is. But, but you, you don't give up. No. You know, you, you're like, oh. And I mean, no matter what happens, you just keep going. But that was fun. It's just another encounter, and it's another part of the day. And hey, it was only Ralph's first like, couple of hours. Come on. We can't tag out that soon. We're hunting with Ralph. We like to draw it out and just leave it to the last minute. Well, we had one heck of a day. Uh, we started low, went high, hiked, went low again, went back up high, and we had a blast. We were up in that dark timber. They were roaring. I mean, it was just like Jurassic Park. We saw a couple of the stags, but then one of the stags came, hooked all the hinds, and went up high. And now we came through here, we saw a big stag up here, and we gotta get all the way down, and down, and down. And then Rach is gonna come around and pick us up with the vehicle. So I better shut up and start walking. So, back to the lodge for an awesome dinner, campfire. Some of our hunters in camp were leaving the next morning. So we had an awesome evening meal outside. It's all about atmosphere. It's not just out in the field, it's about camp too. Like, good times and everyone telling their stories at the end of the night, oh, it's so good. You know, I gotta tell you something else. When, when you're able to do a little bit of the international travels, mm -hmm. it is, I mean, you meet all kinds of cool people. Oh yeah. And, and I mean, we had people from camp from Texas, from Germany, yeah. I mean, you name it. And, and it was, it's just awesome. And what's cool is we all have that common denominator. Yeah. We're, we all love the outdoor lifestyle and we live it. And I, I mean, to hear different experiences from every, you know everywhere else around the world, yeah, that's what we love about hunting camps. I think a lot of people need to realize about New Zealand. One, incredibly pristine and clean. Extremely clean and super nice people. Yeah, oh, great people. And I, I mean, the countryside literally sheep farms everywhere. Everywhere. But they also raise red deer. Right. Like our for farmers. Venison. Yeah, for venison. And for they restaurants ship restaurants around the world. Around the world. Around the world. But the sheep, I think Rach told us they have like twenty three thousand sheep on their properties there. <laughs> and they've That's got a lot of sheep. I don't even know how many thousands of acres I have their no ranch is. I mean I it's have no idea. it's huge. It is it's huge. And, and when you when you start to realize how steep those ravines are if you put that on a map and you stretch that all out, I, it's probably double. You, you, you know oh, what yeah. I mean? Yeah. But, but I mean that the country, the plant life, everything about that is just 
Wow, it's, it's beautiful. It is. Just, Ralph will have a range finder and you can have a range finder, then you guys don't have to worry about if we split he has. We can range find together. Now she oh, 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 you don't need two of them. You have another one. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Here's the bottom line. When you come to Leaf Valley, <laughs> put your name on all of Everything. your stuff. And then like number it and inventory it because <laughs> Next thing you know, you'll find like seven releases in her pack, four like range finders, maybe six sets of optics. Um, oh yeah. Oh, that's exaggerating now, Ralph. Come okay, on. Okay, five sets of optics. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 See. Yeah. The wind is what it is. Once you're on a hill. I'm like, screw it, we're just gonna get down in here and see what's happening from here on in. Cause we're in a good spot, there's stags. I know there's good stags in this area. Oh, there he is, finally. So we started off high and when we went down in, we could hear them roaring. There was two stags down below. There was a drainage down below and they were down there and they were roaring. And then we could see there was a stag on that side hill across from us and the drainage is between us and it was just an open drain, an open like little creek bottom down there. And he had hinds and he started taking his hinds and we could watch them walk and go around just. the corner. And as we're getting down closer, thinking that we could go ahead and we could still sneak up and try to get into them with the wind. And then the wind switches and blows the wrong way again and that's the end of that hunt. So we had to climb back up. Yep. And All then the we, we, we went up and Rach said, you know what, the wind's not good in this drainage over here. We need to go to the other drainage. So then we went over the other drainage and we heard him roaring down there. Down low again. Down low. And remember, because there was that stag down there and he had a hind. Yep. And he was messing around with her down there. The wind's in our favor, but oh yeah, we're going to be skylined if we stand up. We are sitting on our butts so trying to this. scoot across down and try to get down low so we can keep the wind in our favor and get back up on So it. we went down the steep side. Yeah. got into that drainage and started to go. And I mean, as we started going through, you could you could smell them again. Yeah. They were down there in the wallows and, and all of a sudden we could look and we could see them up on the skyline. You're like, oh. So we hunkered down in the tussocks, right? Yep. And we sat there for a while. So we're sitting there, we're waiting for the stag and the hinds to get off the ridge line so we can get to the next area that we had to get to. So we decide to get the makeup out and paint up. <laughs> so we put our war paint on, and I mean, it was cool. You see that? <laughs> you know, and, and I mean, so we waited and waited, and you know, I, I think a few times we had the wind currents go up because we did hear some of the some hinds barking, yeah. barking going on, and we're like, oh. But we, what you did, just like anything, is we just settled down, gave it more time. And just wait, it's yep. midday, so now we're gonna wait. So what we did is we waited, and then we finally had the break. We worked down the creek, and we went up. As we're going down, you could smell the wallows. Yeah. And right above the wallows was, you know, a, a water hole. So, I mean, it's like, it's getting warmer. The smartest thing, we all the sat there The sun is said, coming out of the clouds now, yep. so it's gonna get hot. We don't wanna go back to camp, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hunker down. We got on, on a steep face this way, in the valley, the wallows are below, and then the water hole's over here. Well, we just got above them, the wallows, and we're hoping that sun's getting up there. We're hoping it makes them wanna come down and do some wallowing. Wind's coming into us, everything is So lo and behold, I mean, still a few hours. Yeah, we waited a long time. We caught some stags come down to the left. And I mean, they jumped the fence and they went up, you know, way up high. Yeah, they did. They didn't. And then a while later, mm -hmm. we had them come around us yeah. and they were on that, on the two track. Yeah. And they're, they were on the other side of that little sheep on fence. On that trail, yeah. And they came and I knew I had to get ready. And I believe that I waited for the first one to come through. Yeah. And then I got up, I ranged him and come the full draw. And I think the other ones, I, I 
I knew I was in the sun. Yeah, you were shining pretty bright there. So, so I, I knew something, and I, I, I caught them just flare Stop. off. Yeah, they yep. stopped, but that first one still kept coming through. And he came, and he was drinking, and I ranged him, and I was like, okay. And he was qu heavy quartering away, so I knew I had to come up over the hip, and you know, I, I held and just pinned mm -hmm. him. Nestled in the brush next to a water hole and a few wallows, Ralph readies himself for a shot as several stags approach from the right. The lead stag makes its way to the water hole, and Ralph wastes no time in taking the shot. Got him. <laughs> Got him. He nailed him. He went up, he went through the water hole, up the hillside and just stopped. Just stood there. Just stood there and down he went and that was the end of his hunt. It was great. I mean, it was just everything I ever dreamed of. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Tagged out with one day to go. What are we going to do now? <laughs> Good work, buddy. Oh. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at still buzzing. Look at. He's, he's right awesome. there. Oh my gosh. Here at Lethan Valley, I gotta tell you something. There's no ground shrinkage. <laughs> the closer you start walking up to these massive animals, it's like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you beat Vicky this time. Did I? Hands down. Come on. <laughs> Two amazing things, but so different. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 He's awesome. Look at that. Those are beautiful long tines. He's amazing. A stag like that of that size and to be so symmetrical and long, strong points in his crowns is. I don't know what I have, but I know this. <laughs> Take your breath away. So Ralph and Vic are like, they're coming back next year. We've already got dates. Can't wait. We are going to have another amazing year. And who knows what's going to happen. It is what it is, eh? But I can't wait. And then in the future, hopefully their son RJ can come along and hunt once he's finished his studies at school. Because I want these guys here for a long time to come. It's too much fun. This is what life is about. Living it to the fullest, doing what you love, hunt hard and with good friends. Congratulations. Well, thank you. I, I, I got to tell you, you know, when he come up over the hill and you could hear the other ones. Yep. And, and, and you're like, I don't care. I, I'm no. go, I'm, he gives me a, he gives me an yep. opportunity and, and I ranged him and he went down into that water hole. And uh, I, I mean, he was, he, he was a little further, yeah. you, you know what I mean? But I had, to, I had to come up over the hip, put it right into him. He went up the hill and sort of just went, oh, not a good day. Really? Yes. Did you have a good day? And the roar, I had a phenomenal day. Phenomenal? It, a phenom Can that's you a big spell it? I can't spell it. Okay, that's okay. But you did. Congratulations. That was awesome. You know what was really? No. Phenomenal. I think it goes phenomenal. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, anyways, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rach, Ollie, everyone you down guys in Ethan Valley. You guys are amazing. I mean, we love going down there and visiting oh. you guys and having so much fun. And I mean, laughter and a good hunting and a great time. Here's great the deal people. we're going back down. Yeah. If y'all want to come join us, let's go for the Roar and Gore for next year all yeah. together. Wouldn't let's that do be it. cool? Just give Rach a call. What yeah. the heck? Why not? Right? Let's do it. Hey, thanks for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. So you did it. Good job. I did it. And it yours was, cool. was bigger than mine. I'm sorry.
Why did end. you wait till the end of the show to say that? Say what? I tried. I wasn't say going what? to. But what did I say? Remember when I said you pick some of the panels? It's another one. Let's just close it. Mine was bigger. He's extremely long-winded today. Period.